everybody. So welcome to your Thursday strength and sweat class. Sadly, I can't join you live today, um, but I've pre-recorded you a workout so you can still enjoy. So as always for our strength and sweat class, you just need one dumbbell or kettlebell, medium to heavy weight, and we will get straight into it. So hopefully you're fit and well. Any point you need, any options, I'll try and give you options for things, but just pull back if you need to at any point, okay? We are gonna start with some dynamic stretches. So you're gonna start by coming down to the ground and we are gonna come into some hip 90-90 rotations. So sitting yourself down on the floor and then bringing your knees into a 90 degree position, okay? You can either bring your hands out in front of you if you're more of a challenge or bring your hands just around the back and then we're gonna slowly lift the top leg up until we can go no further and then just gently reach across to the other side. Okay, so once you've got it, come and join me and go through about six to eight. So lift and then gently twist. So try to keep your heels in the same place throughout the movement. Try not to let your hips push too far forwards. Nice and slow and steady. Just getting the hips warmed up. Perfect, well done. Keep it moving. And rest it there, good job. Okay, the next one, we're gonna come into a lunge twist. So you're gonna start round into a high plank position. Then when you're ready, you're gonna step one leg through. Once you're here, you're gonna gently open the chest towards the knee, reach for the ceiling, step back and switch to the other side, okay? So when you're ready, coming into your high plank position, again, we're gonna go through about six to eight, take it nice and slow. So plank position, step it through, Big breath in, lift up. Good, release down, switch to the other side. So feel that opening through the hip. Really stretch through the fingertips to open the chest. Can you come a little further into the hips? Can you sink a little bit lower? One more on each side. And rest it there, well done. Okay, the last of our movements is gonna fire up the core. So you're gonna come into a side plank. Either you can drop the bottom knee down or you can come up onto your toes, okay? So we're gonna start here. So option is to bring the bottom knee down and we're going to thread this top arm through and underneath, okay? So as you come down, thread it through, feel that fire through the bottom, <laughs> bottom oblique, and then release it back to the top. Okay, so about six on each side. When we're ready, lift it up. Let's go. So thread it through, breathe and lift. Good, well done. Try not to rotate too much through the hips. Four, five, and six. Good, switch over to the other side. So if you need to at any point, that knee can come down. Set up the other side. Let's go. One, two, good. Keep breathing, keep lifting those hips. Last one, good and relax, well done. So give yourself a little shake out, any way you need to through the back, a little roll of the shoulders, and we're gonna get straight into the main workout. So our main workout today is gonna be in a pyramid style. So reps are gonna be three, six, nine, six, three. So working our way up the pyramid, then we come back down. Two possibly three moves, depending on how you look at it. So in our first round, have a little look. I'm gonna talk you through it as best I can, then we're just gonna get straight into it, okay? So first round is gonna be three. So using your dumbbell, 
We're going to complete three clean and press on the right, then three clean and press on the left. You're then going to bring your dumbbell up to the centre. You're going to do three reverse lunge on the right, three reverse lunge on the left. That's the end of your round. Then you're going to complete ten body weight squats before we start the next round of six. Okay? So three, 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 ten. Got it? Yeah, you'll be fine. So our movements I'm going to show you just in case. So for the clean and press, you're going to clean the dumbbell up towards your shoulder, bend the knees to drop, then press towards the ceiling. Bring it back down, go again. Once you've done three, switch over to the other side. Then once you've done three on each arm, your dumbbell's going to come up into a goblet position. We're going to do three reverse lunges on your right leg, then three on your left. Then straight into 10 body weight squats. Once we've done that, we rest. Then we go into six, nine, six, and three. It sounds like a lot, okay? Once we're in it, you'll be absolutely fine. So if you've got some music going in the background, time to get that music up so you're not drowned out by the sound of me heavily breathing. And we're gonna get straight into it, okay? So first round, three on the right arm, three on the left arm, three on the right leg, three on the left leg, 10 squats. Good? Good, let's do it. Okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. So clean up, bend and lift. Really drop under that dumbbell, driving up nice and high. Perfect, once you've done three, switch over to the other side. Good job. Once you've done six in total, that weight comes to the center of your chest. We go three lunges on the right. So a nice big step back, back knee close to the floor, switch it over. Good, once you've done all your reps, weight comes down, 10 body weight squats. Hips push back, knees out in line with the toes. Keep that chest elevated. Good, one well, round done. So give you a few seconds if you're still moving, keep going. And then we're gonna go straight into six. So six on the right, six on the left, six on the right, six on the left. 10 squats. I'm just gonna open a window because I'm sweating already, as always. <laughs> okay. So when we're ready, we're going to get straight into round two. Six clean and press on each side, six lunges each side. Are we ready? In three, two, one, let's go. So as you start to fatigue, use the legs more on the clean and press. Drop, drive. Good job. What you've done? Switch it over. Well done. Once you're done, straight into those lunges. Goblet position. Let's go. Perfect, switch. Once you've done your six, 10 body weight squats to finish the round, let's go. Good job. So a few more seconds if you're still moving. Keep it going, well done. And then we get into our biggest round, the top part of the pyramid. Those nine reps. So 
So there's only three extra on each side, just think of it like that. And then we get to come back down the other side. The best part, how good is that last round gonna feel? Okay, so take a little breather, get yourself ready. We're gonna go into nine. So nine clean and press on the right, nine on the left. If you need a break halfway through, or you need to break up your reps, no problem, okay? Take it at your own pace, even if you need to pause the video and just keep moving, all right? Are we ready? Top of the pyramid, let's go. So grab your dumbbells. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Good, that first rep feels the best, doesn't it? Lots of energy, lots of drive. Good job. Once you've done your nine, you go straight over, or if you need to, pop it down, shake it out, okay? Wherever you're at, it's all good. If you're with me, let's go to the other side. Well done, well done. Stay strong. Last few. Well done. Bring that weight to your chest. Or take a breather if you need to. Nine lunges on the right. Stay strong, stay with me. Nine on the left, let's go. Well done, last one. Oh. Straight into your 10 body weight squats. And then we're coming down the other side. Let's go. And done, well done. That is the hardest round and it's over, okay? So we're heading back down the other side. Hopefully you're feeling good, hopefully you're still with me. So to finish, we just have six and then three, okay? Well done, you're already halfway through your workout. You're doing so well. So once you're ready, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to six, six, six and six. Got to feel easier than that last round, right? Nine felt like it went on forever. Okay, <laughs> enough talking. Let's get on with it, shall we? So, dumbbell ready. Six on the right, six on the left. In three, two, one, let's go. Almost there. Well done. Switch it over. If you start to fatigue, just keep pushing, stay with me. One more on this side. Good job. If you need to, take the dumbbell down. Mentally prepare yourself for the lunges. <laughs> if you're like me and your legs are shattered from yesterday's hit class, I'm with you, okay? I feel the pain. When you're ready, bring it up. Six on the right. Well done, last six on the left, let's go.
10 squats, let's finish strong. Then you've just got one more round, let's go. Done, well done. One final round. Are you still with me? Are you ready for it? Three and three, that's nothing. Easy peasy, she says. <laughs> okay, three on the right, three on the left. As soon as you are ready, we are going. So grab your dumbbell, let's finish strong. Talking to myself there. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. Already there, let's switch. How easy does this round feel? Don't answer that question. Three and three lunges to finish. Stay with me. Last 10 squats. Almost there. And done, well done. So if you're still going, Whatever point you're at, I'm going to give you a few more seconds. Just keep moving. Stay with that pace. Well done. If you're done, take a breather. Have a little drink of water. Bring the heart rate down. Oh, well done. Okay. So I'll give you another 10, 9, 8, 3, two, one, and rest. So if you're still moving wherever you're at, just take it down now, okay? Well done. Maybe that's your benchmark. If you didn't quite get to the end, maybe come back to this class in a couple of weeks, see if we can push it a little bit further, okay? Good job. So breathe, recover, and then we're gonna get into the last little bit of our workout. So this time we're gonna go into a descending ladder. We're gonna do 15, 10 and five, all body weight moves, okay? And just for three rounds, not five like that, just three. So your moves are 15 body weight squats, 10 shoulder taps, and then five push ups. And it is just rounds for time, okay? So take your own time. You can go fast, you can go slow, you can pause me and just get on with your own thing. It's all good, okay? So three rounds, 15 squats, 10 shoulder taps, five push-ups. So squats, fairly straightforward as we just did in our main workout. Straight down, straight up, okay? Your shoulder taps, you're gonna come down into that plank position we had in the warm-up, either on your toes or down onto your knees. And we just tap one side or the other. So it's one, two, three, okay? Each tap equals one. So 15 squats, 10 shoulder taps, and then into five push-ups to finish. So again, on your knees or your toes, pull your elbows back, drop the chest down towards the floor. Three rounds for time. And then you are out of here. Sounds simple, right? Yeah, let's do it. So body weight, no need for your weights anymore. So pop them to the side and we're gonna get straight into it. Start with our 15 squats, okay? So bring your heels outside of your hips, turn your toes out, lift your chest. We're gonna go together, okay? In three, two, one, let's go for 15. Perfect. So pushing those knees out, dropping those hips back. Well done, well done. Once you hit your 15, 
straight down to the floor, straight into your shoulder taps, okay? So try not to rock side to side. Important that we keep the hips and square, hips and shoulders square to the floor. So one, two, three. Once you've done your 10, knees drop down if you need to, elbows pull back, straight into your five push-ups. Good job. As soon as you are done, if you need a breather, take it. If you're ready to go with me, we go straight back into 15 squats. The faster it's done, the faster the end is here. Let's go. Well done. Once you've done your 15, straight down into those shoulder taps. Let's go. Well done, five push-ups to finish. And then we just have one more round to go. Well done, if you need that recovery, take it. If you're ready to go, let's go. Last round, 15. Stay strong, stay with me. Shoulder taps and push-ups. And we are done, let's go, let's go. Last five, last five. Good job. So if you're with me, you are done. If you're still moving, Again, I'm just gonna give you a few seconds. Just keep going, okay? Well done, if you're done, have a drink. Take a little recovery. Good job, if you're still moving, you've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Whew. Well done, sweaty one, a very sweaty one. <laughs> so we're just gonna take a couple of moments to stretch it out. So when you're ready, come back with me onto the floor. And we're just gonna start by coming into a child's pose. So bring your hands forward, take your knees just outside of the hips, and then sink the hips back onto the heels, resting your shoulders and your neck down. Taking a big breath to allow that heart rate to slow down and relax good job okay when you're ready you're going to bring your back arm through thread it underneath your front arm rest the ear and shoulder down towards the mat and again take a big breath out and just relax right down towards the floor good, good. bring it in switch it over to the other side Lovely, bring back to the centre. We're just going to come up, take a big step forward and we're going to stretch out through our hip flexors. So bring one leg in, again take a big breath out, just gently drop the hips forwards till you feel this big stretch through the front leg here. And then when you're ready to just gently bring yourself up to standing. We're going to take a big step out wide, straighten the legs, pushing the hips back, just gently drop the hands forwards, 
relax the shoulders and just feel that big stretch down through the hamstrings. Good job, bend the knees, take a big breath in, roll all the way up, release through the shoulders, release through the back, and give yourselves a big clap. Well done guys, so that's your workout done. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be back with you live on Sunday morning for your stretch and flow class, okay? So hopefully I'll see you then. If you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to drop us a message, um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care and have a lovely week. Thank you.